Hey guys, I'm Device Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at iOS 13.3 Developer Beta 2. Now, every time I install a new beta on my iPhones, I like to come back 24 hours later and share with you guys additional thoughts. I also like to come back a week later and share with you guys some information in regards to battery performance, bugs, and any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for several days. Now, I have the iPhone SE for this video here because I do want to talk about the performance performance on this device because it is quite impressive. One of the oldest iPhones to support iOS 13, the performance of this device has been incredible. I do test these devices with AirPlay devices like HomePods and other things I do around the house. And the iPhone SE is performing incredibly impressive with iOS 13.3. Now, one thing that the iPhone SE does have with iOS 13.3, and it's very important to note this, is that screen time under the communication limits is available on iPhone SE. And the reason I say this is important is because this is a device that's very affordable. It's a device that you may gift a child. And if you want communication limits, this is a device that will offer you that with iOS 13.3. The performance is good. Everything is running perfectly on this older device. And I think Apple is doing a great job with iOS 13 on the iPhone SE. These are the latest numbers from the benchmark. 25, 20 on single core score and 44, 15 on the multi-core score. So the numbers are looking good. However, my primary device, of course, is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. In my initial thoughts on this device, I have to say everything that I want to report on iOS 13.3 Pretty much is good. It's good news and that's good for everyone. The camera is performing well, launching applications, a 3D touch, the control center, the app switcher, the RAM management, everything seems very, very good. Now, my only concern is that the battery is not as great as it was before, let's say with iOS 13.2 but it is getting there it is about average i'm getting through my entire day now on smaller devices like an iphone uh, 10s for example or an iphone 10r you could be suffering somewhat from a battery performance on ios 13.3 beta 2 but the bigger devices like the 11 pro max and the iphone 10s max these devices have such a large battery that in my case i don't see any major impact but yes the battery isn't fully there yet i'm still testing multiple devices as i say stay tuned for my weekly follow-up on ios 13.3 because that's where i'll be talking about the battery thoroughly i'll be testing the performance i have to say one minor bug is within the emails applications sometimes it would crash on me on the latest beta but everything else i can't complain so i'm very happy to report that if you're looking to update and you're in the public or developer beta i recommend the software to update right now if you're looking uh, to get better performance overall i can't really find anything that i would say it isn't working properly as i mentioned the ram management issue has been resolved the camera issues on the 11 pros and the 11 has been resolved as well just minor minor things here and there on the newer devices but nothing to worry about now one thing i also want to mention for the older devices is that we also get the new setting here under general and keyboard so if you have an older devices you now have the ability to remove the an emoji and memoji stickers from the keyboard so if you're in the messages application and you go to your memojis and an emoji stickers you have the ability to do that on older devices and the reason i bring this up is because apple is not lacking on features on older devices they're putting in as many features as they do on the newer devices that they do on the older devices and that's always a good thing so you'll get a best value out of an iPhone SE if more features keep getting added with the latest update. And this is my 24 hour quick roundup. So far the performance, the LTE, the Wi-Fi, everything is running pretty good. The multitasking, the only concern here is battery which is average, not as great as before, but I'll continue testing. AirPlay, AirDrop, everything else, I think you'll be very satisfied. So again, you can update if you wish to do so. It is a green light on this one. Thank you for watching this quick update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.